new makeup nonsense bingo new makeup nonsense bingo new makeup nonsense bingo i always look forward to these because it's really the only time i drink welcome everybody it's new makeup nonsense bingo it's my fifth one and i'm calling it single 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 because there's this commercial for i think it's insurance here and their phone number is single 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 and it's a joke so welcome to new make nonsense bingo single 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 um we're drinking spanish wine today this is marque 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 de rocas vino tinto suave y agradable so red wine that is smooth and agreeable <laughs> how I like my men, huh, babe? Uh, es un vino suave y de agra agradable sabor creado para los gustos actuales. Producto de España. I don't say where in Spain. Oh, it's a tempranillo. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Doesn't say where in Spain. It smells fucking good, though. Ready? Mm. Mmm, so in Spain, you don't order a red wine, you order a vino tinto. You order a vino rojo, it'll be like American. Um, but, oh, it smells real good. I've been craving red wine lately. So I was like, mm, I had two bottles and I just kind of chose this one. So let's, let's give her a swirl. Let's give her a swirl. That smells, uh, it tastes, smells, smells good, but it, it's cheap red wine. I got it. it okay. So during Christmas, they have these, um, like cajas, these boxes where you can get for like 10 euro, two bottles of wine, like a whole shit ton of snacks. So I bought one, bought two. Um, <laughs> all right, everybody. So this is new nonsense makeup. Did I say that new makeup nonsense bingo? Um, this is the uh, brainchild of the lovely Emily. She's lovely. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. My tits are huge. I think it's like a, it's like a hormonal thing. I don't know, guys. Perimenopause is not fun. Anyways, you like this? I bought this in Seattle, like in 2018. They thought I was getting married and I was like, ha ha ha. No, joke's on them because at the end of the year I did get married. <laughs> didn't wear it. Um, if you want to play, um, all the information is below. I copy, you just copy and paste all that shit from Teresa. Hi, Teresa. I love you. You're moving right now. You don't know me, but I know you. We're friends. You just don't know it. Um, I have 40 things that we are talking about. I do this a little differently than Emily and Teresa and Audra. Audra at home also plays this. Um, so go follow them. This is just super fun time where we can drink and talk some shit about makeup. So let's get started. Right straight out of the gate, we have Charlotte Tilbury. I'm actually wearing Charlotte Tilbury on my lips today. And uh, yeah, all right, cool, right? It's a nice color, it's amazing, a mall. It's a nice color. Uh, they have come out with these new paint, I mean, basically they're MAC paint pots. They are five new shades to swipe, smoke, and line. Darlings, my new matte eyes to mesmerize. Cream matte eyeshadows are easy to build. Build in capital letters with a smoothing, blurring effect that glides on like cashmere for a soft focus effect. I can't make this up. It's the beauty secret to smoky to mesmerize in seconds. It's the beauty secret to smoky to mesmerize in seconds. Okay, so what makes it magic? Pure pigments, sodium hyaluronate, tree of life extract. Sounds like this thing's a Jew. Might have to buy them if they're my people. Water resistant film former silky mica, French lavender and aloe vera. Um, yeah, they're all right. I, I wouldn't buy them because they're probably really expensive. Um, oh, that taupe one is real pretty. Darlings, my I don't know. I'm not drunk enough for Charlotte Silver yet. Um, I don't know. They're all right. Ah, her Instagram page is fucking obnoxious. 
Ay, ay, ay. Oh, here we go. Here are the shades. Nude cashmere, flawless beige, smoky taupe, chocolate veil, and diffused black. How much are they? Darlings, I want to empower everyone to create an easy smoky matte, smoky eye look in seconds with my new matte eyes to melt. Why does she have to cast to look at my dad? Capitalizing shit. <laughs> She's probably the same age as my dad. Look, these are nice. Um, I, I don't hate them. I wouldn't buy them because I don't need them. I can find them cheaper somewhere else. Like I'm sure they're very lovely. Um, I didn't even look at my bingo card. Let's look at this thing. Did I show you my bingo card? Here's my bingo card. I'm so excited about drinking wine. Uh, oh, there's a new <laughs> nostalgia. We meet again. Um, can't really call it anything. Huh, we're off to a good start. <laughs> eh, what do you want? Well, this is just fucking silly. This is the Miss Dior makeup palette. <sighs> what can I say about this that hasn't already been said? Fucking search for everything. The sea of goddamn hearts. Here it is. So we have this Miss Dior makeup palette. Inspired by the iconic style and the elegant femininity of the Dior figures, $145. It includes three eyeshadows, which are basic as fuck, a blush, a lipstick, and a top coat nail polish. What is this for like eight-year-olds that have trust funds worth millions already? And they're like, mommy, I want makeup. But top coat, is it sparkly top coat? It is sparkly. Oh my God, this is so for a child, but it's $145 worth of Dior makeup. No, mommy no like this. This is fucking ridiculous. This is a true cash grab. Boink, 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 boink. That's a true cash grab. This shit is stupid. For if it, if it was inspired by the fragrance, why wouldn't they put a little baby fragrance in there? Because it's made for kids. That's stupid. There's this brand named Chixie.co. Chixie.co. And they've come out with a poison ivy eyeshadow palette. This palette consists of 12 shades mixed with matte shimmers and two pressed glitters. 18 US dollars launched on the 26th. I believe that is already passed. I don't know, it's like the 30th or the 29th or something now. I don't know when you'll be seeing this. Probably all news by then. Um, didn't Doodles by the Bunny and said the name of that brand. Didn't they just come out with a Poison Ivy palette? Didn't they, isn't this total, I mean, I mean, it's different, but like, didn't it just come out? sucks. Cause I bet you they, this brand, this tiny little brand, Chixie, Chixie, it'll all be down below. C-H-I-X-X-I-E dot C-O with 697 followers. Okay. I see you. Ooh, Enchanted Fortress. That's pretty. Um. Do I have major copycat vibes? I do. I'm going to call it major copycat vibes. Nothing against this brand. I support these. I don't even follow them. Little tiny baby brands based in California. California love. Um, but the Poison Ivy palette literally just came out like two months ago. I mean, it's pretty. I like the pinks. It's different, but it, I mean, unless you have a boner for like Poison Ivy stuff, I don't know. It's all right. I don't hate it. I don't love it. And there's only one, two usable greens in that whole Poison Ivy palette. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna slam a makeup brand with only 697 followers. 698 now, because I just followed them. Um, so keep on keeping on. I support you. I like it better than that Dior shit. Does that count? So green must be the new color. Uh, and I'm here for it because I mean, I love green. Green is my color. Um, Urban Decay came out with the Wild Greens palette and I don't hate it. 
I only hate it. I really like the color story. It's kind of muted and it's kind of boring, but I don't hate it. I don't know why. I don't know. I'm fucking 40 years old. So like Urban Decay was like the shit when I was coming up. And I think I have a soft spot for Urban Decay. Um, I would get this. I would buy this. Um, it's Is it u completely unique to my collection? But no, but kind of. I don't know, man. I really like their fucking Naked Wild West palette. Like, it's really one of my favorites. It might be my favorite palette of 2021. There are, there's a shade called Stash. Kale, Twist, Prickly, Super I like this. Would I pay full price for it? It's probably 49 bucks. Does it come to the EU? March 23rd? March 1st in Spain. Jeez. Fucking cock teases. January 28th, USA, global. Well, shit, man. I could just have my friend buy it and send it to me and I can get it early. I could get it early. I don't mind it. I don't think I would pay full price for it because I don't pay full price for anything, but I, I kind of like it. I hate that I like it, but I kind of like it. Oh, what can I call it here? Um, let's call it Drunk Me Would Buy It because I kind of feel like Drunk Me Would Buy That because I don't like it. I hate that I like it. So we got some basic shit here and I don't hate this either. It's the same color story. It's like, not the same, but it's very similar. It's muted greens and like neutrals. This one is more pink, um, but this is the Simply Posh. Picking Peonies palette. Um, launching February 4th. It's pretty, but it has the same, it's the same kind of green. So I guess these like swampy-ish, like muted, this color I'm wearing. I don't iron, so <laughs> whatever. You get a wrinkled shirt, whatever. These, these like muted army-ish swampy greens with the, it's pretty, I like this. I think I might like this one more than Urban Decay, um, but I'm not sure. I don't know. When I was making this art, when I was making this list, I have my list, you know, I was feeling really underwhelmed by like stuff that was that com that's coming out. Um, and that's kind of how I feel right now. I'm already getting a headache from this. the things I do for new makeup nonsense makeup. I, this is fine. It's nice. I don't, I feel like I have, I feel like I could dupe it out a million times over. Um, I, maybe, maybe the formula is great. I've never tried Simply Posh Cosmetics. So if you have, please let me know. I mean, the, the shade Bud is beautiful. Um, it just looks like the Wild Greens palette. It's very similar. This one has more pinks and stuff, you know, um, don't think I can really call it anything. It's not really a rainbow palette. We can't really call it anything, but that's okay. We are going to move on. Wait. Our Lord and Savior, Color Pop. Colourpop came out with this uh, All That Buzz collection, and uh, I don't like it. I don't love it. I'm not going to buy it. But I could definitely see myself, like, if I'm putting in a Colourpop order, which I haven't done in, like, a little while. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I could see myself maybe throwing in one of these, one of these palettes. Um, yeah, they're not bad. So bloom all year round. Live out your spring dreams with our all the buzz collection. Um, the wannabe one is the the yellows and the oranges. I don't I don't need that one. Um, and the so fly one is the pinks with that pop of teal. I don't need that one. It's the what is it? Glow glow getter glow glow getter. That's cute. The glow getter one, which is the kind of warmish neutrals with that minty blue. I mean, could I dupe this? Absolutely. 
I mean, fucking A. Like, ColourPop is just duping themselves at this point. But they're pretty. They're pretty. The Super Shock shadows are pretty. The highlighters are pretty. The, it's pretty. It's pretty. I like it. I don't hate it. I mean, that's, what I, that's all I have to say about it. If you don't have an extensive makeup collection, these are not bad. They're very wearable. If you're afraid of color, but you want to dip your toe in, um, the So Fly one is great. It has all the neutrals with that tiny little pop of uh, tealish blue. I like it. I don't hate it. It does not offend me. Good for ColourPop. We're calling it a ColourPop release because that is what it is. Nothing special, doesn't blow my balls off. That's what it is. I'm glad I pulled this one because this is very confusing to me. And if it is what I think it is, which I don't think it is, but if it is what I think it is, I fucking want it. This is the Moira Bon Voyage, Moira Cosmetics Bon Voyage collection. And they're nice, right? They're cute. But there's this one packaging looks like it has like Dutch, Dutch things on it. Like here it is. The Among the Wildflowers palette. And it has like the tulips and it has a windmill. And I'm like... Are you Dutch? Because if you're Dutch, I'm dying for a Dutch themed palette. Nomad, you hear me? Um, <laughs> please, please come out with an Amsterdam themed palette. I, I can't tell. Inspired by, be okay, so there's four palettes inspired by beaches, wildflowers, northern lights, and up in the air view. So I guess not. And it's get really cute. I don't like the layout of them because I don't know. Like, at least they're rectangular palettes. They're not shaped palettes. Let's see. No, fave like a garden, my honeybee. No, it's not. Unfortunately, it's not. Every time I see a tulip or a fucking windmill on a on a palette, I'm like, am I gonna have to buy you? Are you the Dutch themed palette of my dreams? But unfortunately, you're not. Sorry, Moira. I like you. You're cute, but you're nothing special. Um, I don't know. Do you have pretty embossing basic makeup? You do have pretty embossing basic makeup. It's cute. I like it, but I mean, it's a bright fucking spring palette. Pretty embossing basic makeup. <sighs> makeup by Mario. I don't give two fucks. I don't give two fucks who he is the celebrity. I don't care. I don't care. He's like Kim Kardashian's fucking, I don't care. He's Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I don't give a shit. Okay. I don't fucking care. Does not, does not compute. I don't give a shit. I don't even care that he's hawking these new moisture glow plumping lip serums. I, I don't care. They look nice. Like whatever. I have a whole fucking slew of lip shits on lip shits. I mean, they look nice, whatever. What are they like 25 bucks or something? Moisture glow, plumping lip serum. Dude, this guy, okay, first of all, he's hot as fuck, all right? This Mario guy is hot as fuck. But it distracts the living shit out of me and I will tell you why. Let's be honest. This guy looks like my dearly departed Nick. Like this dude looks like my late boyfriend. And every time like this shows up on my fucking Instagram, it throws me for a loop. I don't know if it makes me want to buy his makeup or not buy his makeup. But I mean, that's what I have to say about this. <laughs> like, that's what I have to say about makeup by Mario and these, I don't even call it anything other than we are moving on from makeup by Mario. I need to get him off my screen. Like, no, seriously, like he looks so much like him. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Okay. So here's something that everybody is their fucking panties in a twist for. Um, it's the KVD good apple concealer. 
I've never tried the Good Apple foundation, although I am curious because I have found that I do like a balm foundation. I have been using some things right here. I've been using the It Cosmetics Competence in a Compact Skin Transforming Full Coverage Solid Super Super Therum. Um, it's, it's a balm. It's a balm foundation and I like it. So I am curious about the Good Apple shit of course I'm late to the party like I always am um but you know sure why the fuck not concealer yay what can we call it I'm just striking out <sighs> of course I'm not buying it I'm not buying it oh well we Shameless self plug time. Your girl has five shades with Copacetic Cosmetics and they came out. Um, they were the $2 Tuesday ones, but now they're $5, which is still a deal. Here are my babies. They have their own little compact there. They are framed up here because they are my babies. They were my brainchild and now they are alive. And I used this one today. I use this one most days. Um, so this is the Copacetic Cosmetics Sparkle Jezebel. Spanish Sparkle Collection. We have five dollars each pan. Um, this one is called Jezebel, named after my baby girl. Um, it's a black with a gold sparkle to go like her her fur kind of changes color. Like it's black, but it has like this reddish gold shift to it. Ooh. This one is Vino, and. As you can see, it's kind of the color of red wine. And then it has Chardonnay, I almost said flavored, Chardonnay colored and rose colored glitter in there. Um, this one is called Flamenco. Um, Olivia has a color called Flamingo that's beautiful hot pink, but I wanted to do a twist on it. It is sparkly and shimmery and absolutely amazing. Um, it's beautiful one color just boom hit. This one is called Cafe Con Leche because it is literally the color of Cafe Con Leche and it's my ode to the basic bitch in me. Um, it's perfect for blending edges out. It's a great color. And then my favorite one, I think. This one's called Cathedral and this does not do it justice. It is so fucking pretty in real life. Like it's multicolored shimmer and sparkle and it's inspired front by the stained glass windows in all the beautiful cathedrals in Europe. So I love them. You can buy them. I have my referral link below. Um, to, you get a $5 discount on your next purchase and I get a $5 discount. So that's awesome. We can call this one already bought because I bought them. I bought so many extras. I have so many extras. I'm like, girl, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? But I was thinking... I've never had makeup that I've created before. So I like, look, I got, I have this thing, like I have to fix it because this Jezebel shade keeps falling, but like, it's a, they're like plastic. So they all, they're lined up because they're my babies and I love them and you, you'll love them too. You love them. I love them. The Estee Lauder Year of the Tiger collection compact is really cute the year of the tiger stuff is so cute all of it all of it even that huda beauty one i really like those wild palettes and that's just a the wild tiger palette that she just repackaged it's this is so the estee lauder is really cute so we have a powder compact it looks like it's a collectible refillable compact um we have the advanced night repair eye stuff and the but the bottle it's just in special packaging but the bottle is so pretty it's so pretty oh it's so cute what else do we have here i thought there was something else maybe like a lip oh my gosh there's so much that's a lot it's pretty let me see if i can find that on oh yes there's the blush compact it's so cute it's like, come on, it ended up baby kiddies. Although honestly, okay, I cannot wait. I cannot fucking wait for the year of the cock for a few reasons. 
Whew. Number one, it's the year of the cock and it's just gonna be ripe for jokes. I can't fucking wait, it's gonna be fun. Number two, I am the year of the cock. I was born in 1981. So I want a compact with a fucking rooster on it. Come on, but if you are a year of the tiger, oh, there's a lipstick too. If you are a year of the tiger, this is cute. Um, it's, you know, the blue eyes, it's really cute. I like this. I mean, it's pretty basic, but it's cute. If you need your new night serum or something or whatever, that's what you use. Advanced night repair or your advanced night repair eye supercharged comp, Jesus. Advanced night repair eye supercharged complex. Get this, but this is quite obviously same shit, new packaging. Now, holy shit. The night repair serum is $200. So, oh, fuck. Jesus, is it that good? Uh, the powder compact, oh my God, is $175. Okay, the cheek palette is $36.50. So that's bad and it's really cute. But fuck's sake, dude, is that fucking multi-recovery complex? Advanced Night Repair Serum Synchronized Multi-Recovery Complex in Red Bottle, 200. Same shit, new packaging. It's real cute though. Okay, so we got 10, 11 pulls into it before we pulled our first Valentine's Day bullshit, which is not bad. Um, and this one's actually pretty cute. This is the Peachy Queen, I guess it's the Betty Boop palette. Oh, the Be Mine palette. It has Betty Boop on it. I don't hate this, it's cute. I really like Peach Queen, you guys know that. Um, I am already fucking tired of Valentine's Day. It's not even February yet. As of the recording of this, it's, I don't even know what day it is, what day is it? It's Saturday, January 29th. I'm already fucking over Valentine's Day. I hate Valentine's Day. I don't hate it as much as I did when I was single, let's be honest, but, I'm over it. I fucking hate Valentine's Day. However, this is cute. It's cute. I like it. It's cute. Peachy Queen is a great, great quality. I really like Peachy Queen. Peachy Queen, Peachy Queen, Peachy Queen. Peachy Queen. Peachy Queen. Mm. Michaela, this tastes like me missing you. Um, I like it. It's cute. You can use code TRENDMOOD for 10% off of it. I like it. It's cute. 12 different shades with different finishes. There's nothing I can say about it. If you're a Betty Boot fan, go for it. Um, God, man, I am striking out today, but that just means I can bring more of this wine. He's like, do you want to keep this cork? I was all, don't challenge me, dude. Don't challenge me. Um, yeah, we can't really call it anything other than it's really cute and I like it. It's Haley from Cat and Haley from Beauty News. Anytime I see a red palette now, I think of her. Okay, so we have another indie brand. Um, this is Slayed by Shea Beauty with 853 followers. I'm one of them. I was before, so there you go. Um, Antioch, California, there you go. Cool. Um, this is the So Lush palette and it, it's pretty. Um, it is your mauve kind of February release kind of brand, you know, it's, it's nice. If, you know, if you're looking for a mauve palette, you don't want to buy a ColourPop. This is nice. Um, I'm going to call this yes, give us nothing. Because while it's beautiful and I'm sure, you know, the quality is great. Um, I mean, it's, first of all, it has the sparkle filter on it, which is distracting. And I don't think I can find any other cup. I don't know. I'm on their Insta right now. And I mean, it's, oh, here we go. Here we go. Like it's, it's nice. It's nice. All right. Rosy and decadent vibes. It's beautiful. I want to support these indie brands, but I want something that's I have quite the collection and I don't need, I don't need this, but it's pretty. Um, yes, give us nothing. Ooh, I want this. I want this bad. And I think when I get paid next, which is in a week, I might order those. 
because it's my favorite primer and it smells like cookies. This is the e.l.f. Cookies and Dreams. <sighs> Dude. Okay, so I don't need, I don't need, I don't need the palette. Okay, I don't need, I don't need the palette. You girl don't need the palette. But, okay, like, this is my favorite primer. And it's the Poreless Putty Primer. Like, I fucking use this shit. And they came out with a cookie foot, oh, cookie scented one. I, I fucking want it. I, I'm, it's like nine bucks. I'm going to order it. I really want it. And they have, what else do they have? They have, honestly, I'll probably throw the palette in there. Like, <sighs> probably throw the palette in there because I'm such a fucking sucker. What do they have in here? Let's see. Okay, so they have a cookies and dreams cookies crumble lick lip exfoliator yeah man hell yeah why the fuck not it tastes like fucking cookies and cream ice cream yeah okay let's do it what else do we have what else do we have okay we have some eyeliner sticks i probably won't get those i have eyeliner sticks i don't use them okay Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's the whole collection. Oh, they have the three lip glosses. The one's like black. I'd probably get that. The brushes I won't get. I don't need any brushes, but. And then I, I want to get, I need a new cleansing balm anyways. Oh, the, 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 there's like a swirly sponge. Mm, I want this. Cook, oh, an overnight, a milkshake overnight mask. Get the fuck out of here, dude. A fat girl in me is like, I want, I want, me wanties, me wanties, me will probably buy, of course I'm buying it, the fuck, of course I'm buying it, of course I'm buying it, I don't know, I just think it sounds like an awesome idea to smear fucking shit on your face that smells like cookies and cream ice cream, I have potato chips here, these are Dia Patatas Fritas on onduladas sabor queso mediterraneano i don't know they're like cheese flavored they're fucking good they're just ruffles i like this now your girl loves your girl loves some uh some dirty jokes your girl loves some dirty jokes and Lush Cosmetics, whatever they're called, Lush, Lush Cosmetics. <laughs> they have their little Valentine's Day bath bomb collection. And one's a lobster, you're my lobster. But speaking of, they have a fucking eggplant bath bomb. I want it because that shit is hilarious, dude. That's funny. Um, it's a citrusy floral into it. Um, I can resist everything, but I can resist everything but temptation shower gel. Dude, that isn't, I just got the chills. That is an Oscar Wilde quote. Fuck me. I want it. That's amazing. Somebody go tell my husband. That's what I want for Valentine's day. I can resist everything but temptation shower gel. <laughs> what does it smell like? Doesn't say, um, a love bug, like shaped like a bug. That's cute shower jelly the strawberry heart that's fucking cute it's like an actual heart oh my god um rose so a carrot can't what kim the carrot oh my god i'm gonna show this to him and be like, oh my god it's like a badge this is so cute i want it ah um lip mask and scrub hot lips taste like sweet cherries yeah dude i want that i can resist everything but temptation shower <laughs> i'm such a sucker for a fucking literary reference but the the uh the the, the big eggplant so fucking fights 15 dollars that's a very expensive bath but i don't care because it's fucking shape of an eggplant and i want it I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Oh, and it's a, uh, I mean, it's not a makeup item, but you know what? We're going to call it a food themed makeup item because that's an eggplant. And I love, ew, I love eggplants. Really though. Eggplants are so, I love eggplants. So good. It's one of my favorite foods. Mm. <laughs> so good. 
so funny. I used to be able to drink a bottle of red wine without even thinking twice. Now I'm like, uh oh, I'm on my second glass. You better watch out. Let's open that up. I know you can't see, but I'm swirling. <laughs> open up the bouquet. Mm. I do like a tempranillo. Always have. All right, next one, number 39. All right, Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. I think my friend is an affiliate with them. Um, Wicked Sisters Cosmetics has a Querida palette. Morticia Adams inspired, uh-oh. Oh yeah, that's cute. Oh. 15 stunning shades, a mixture of shimmer and mattes. This eyeshadow palette is limited edition. It was really cute. I like it. You know, I'm a sucker for uh, creepy palettes here. Um, it is red. It's Valentine's Day. It's got the reds, but then it's also had. It also has those like swampy greens and a bright green. <gasps> Caramia. Oh. Let's see if my friend has an affiliate code, and if she does, I will put it down below. Um, really cute. I like that a lot. Um, I don't need it. It's really hard, but if I <sighs> put it on the face, please put it on the face. I like it. See, like, oh, I have, I have wine lip. <laughs> um, see the difference between this and like just your basic, like red and pink palette with the greens like it's very similar to that so lush palette but like this is creepy it has a creepy little like it's in who did it say it was inspired by inspired by morticia adams so like it has that extra like draw for me i don't know i i'm a fucking weirdo what do you want from me put it on the face this is boring but I get why people like it. This is the uh, Lights Lacquer. Lights Lacquer. Tortoise shell. Tortoise, tortoise set. Tortoise set. And it's four shades that look like tortoise shell. Oh, this is Copacetic Cosmetics Santa Baby. It's nice. I really like it. I don't know. No, it's not Santa Baby. It's naughty list um link below um this is pretty this is i mean it's nice i've never tried her lacquer before but it is uh tortoise shell flavored tortoise shell colored it's pretty basic but it's pretty i like the tortoise shell look that people have been making with their tortoise shell sets um but oh look how do tortoise tortoise nails it's not I mean, it's boring it's boring it's boring but it's it's not bad it's not bad I don't hate it I don't hate it it's just it doesn't really do it for me I thought that said warm camel toes it said warm camel tones but <laughs> warm camel toes mm -hmm. I don't know it's nice it's not it's it's nice it's nice it's nothing like I'm, you know, I cannot call it anything. And I do not feel much about it. So that makes a lot of sense. Next. Fucking ColourPop. Whatever side. Uh, so they released these quads at Ulta. Let me pull them up because let me sift through all the shit. Because I'm a fucking sucker for color. Uh oh, you know I'm getting buzzed and I start singing. I'm a fucking sucker. Where the fuck is it? Well, I did not dream these up. There are four, five now, five quads. I love the ColourPop quads. They are my fucking favorite from ColourPop. And they're like different fruits. So the green one that just came out is like dragon fruit. I'm not sure. I can't find it right now. And then there's like a strawberry one, a coconut one, an acai one, and another one. I forget. And then there's two, like a grapefruit blush and like a pomegranate blush. 
They're cute. Do I need them? No. Do I want them? <laughs> of course I do. Oh, man, of course I do. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I mean, walk yourself out of it, Stacy. Name it something and move along. I don't think I could call it anything. God, we have a lot. I pulled a shitty card today. Um, that just means I can finish this box of wine, right? Oh, yay. Let's talk some shit. Let's talk some shit. I don't give a fuck about Jaclyn Hill or Jaclyn Cosmetics. Like, I don't know, man. I don't, I've never watched her, okay? So let's, let's, let's say that to begin with. I've never, I'm looking at my ring because it's sparkly in the monitor. Wait, not that one. That's my Kate Middleton ring. That's my wedding ring. That's my Kate Middleton ring I got for like 70 bucks at JCPenney. This is my dream ring that I bought myself for $1,000 at Macy's Real. And then this one I bought in Barcelona and then I had it redone. Anyways, Jaclyn Hill. I just don't care. Somebody in the comments tell me, like, what am I missing out for her? Like, I, I'm sure her tutorials are great. Maybe I should be watching her tutorials. Like, the more I look at this wing, the more I'm like, girl, you need to work on that. But I will work on it because perfection doesn't exist. And practice makes perfect, but perfection doesn't exist. So I don't know. I just don't really, like, the big major, like, the only big major, like, influencer I watch is Tati. And I didn't watch her before she had her thing and she was gone for a year. I've only started watching her after. Like she's a little more down to earth and not as obnoxious anymore. But Jacqueline Hill came out with new additions to her pout spoken. I believe they're lip glosses. I just don't care. I don't want to give like, I don't know. I, I just don't care. I, bright and bold because it's time to have pretty colors. Because it's time to speak our minds through our pouts. Yeah, because we are all showing our fucking lips in public. We still have, we do fucking wear masks outside still here in Spain. Okay, seven bright and bold shades of our comfortable high pigment and matte finish signature liquid lipstick. Oh, a, li a sharpener. A lipstick remover. Okay. That's interesting. That's not something I have. I will give her that. Uh, and lip liners. So the lipsticks are 20, the lip liners are 18. Okay, look, I don't hate this as much as I thought I did, but I, just in general, like I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about Jacqueline Cosmetics. Like they just do not register. I, I don't know. Isn't she a bit troublesome? Like I, I say this as I, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to use all my Jeffree Star palettes in February. Like, I don't know. I know Jeffree Star is troublesome. I, I just don't care. Oh my God. And I cannot call it anything. I'm going to need to start cheating or something. <laughs> I can't call it anything. Well, here we go. I think I could call this something. Okay, so Melt Cosmetics. Another brand that I'm just like about I do have one of their palettes and I did depot it because I didn't like the format but the but the actual shades the actual format the actual formula is nice I had the impulse palette but like I just don't trust Mount Cosmetics because they had mold growing in one of their one of their I don't know I don't know watch beauty news they go into it it's a couple years old, but it's just something, but they, they are coming out with waterline pencils and they're like these basic big colors. They're like brown and white and cream and boring. It's boring. Like color pop, you can get them for six bucks and they're great. LA girl, you can get them for four or $5 and they're great. I don't want to spend how much are they? Let's see how much they are. Probably fucking stupid. stupid. Them as concealers, they're like multi use, whatever. Y'all have concealers, nineteen dollars each. Oh my god, I don't know, whatever. I, the only thing I really want, you, you guys all know, really the one that got away. Oh. 
Oh. It's 2020's Beetlejuice collection. It's the only thing I really want from Mel. This is boring. This is a product that's a catfish. It's just a fucking new colored waterline pencil. Budding. Next. I hate myself for not hating this. I don't know who I am anymore, you guys. Other than buzzed. I don't hate the Kylie Cosmetics Valentine's Day collection. I don't hate it. Am I going to buy it? No. I don't hate it. And this is why. Because the presentation is fucking cute. But the whole thing comes in a big heart-shaped box. And the, I think it's the lip products. Let me look. Yeah, it comes, it comes in a big giant. Yeah, it's the, what is it? Oh no, it's not the lip products, but the lip products, and the, the tube is heart shaped. It's cute. The palette is fucking boring. It's just your basic Valentine's Day palette, but the pans are heart shaped. It's the blushes. The blushes come in little like, candy wrappers oh, look at me. they come in little candy wrappers just, I don't hate this I think out of every she's gross but I think out of everything everything she's like even the Halloween one which really fucking pissed me off this is cute I don't hate this I like the highlighter like I really like the highlighter oh who am I oh, ugh. Ugh, I feel dirty we're gonna call this total and palette yeah, that's an Ann palette. That's an Ann palette. It's fucking basic. Like, how many of those have we seen today? I'm calling it an Ann palette. Uh oh, I think I got bingo. I really ain't getting bing. All right, so L'Oreal came out. God, I want that Kylie Cosmetics. Who am I? Ooh. Kai L'Oreal Cosmetics. L'Oreal, 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 L'Oreal. Where is it? Indie makeup. No. Trying to. Okay, so L'Oreal came out with these age perfect four in one tinted face balm foundation. Balm foundation into it. I want to try more balm foundations. She inexpensive, eleven ninety nine. Perfect. What the fuck is up with this shade range? It is one, two, three, four shades of white, two shades of medium, and two shades of dark. And it's not okay. Like it is twenty twenty two. Like, come on. No. What the fuck? <laughs> look. Well, look me saying this is the most dismal shade range I've ever seen. I must have commented on it. I don't remember. Uh, let's look at some of these comments. That shade range ain't it. Interesting, but honey, the shade range. Eight shades. We're back in the early 2000s with that. <laughs> this has Dream Matte Moose vibe. Um, looks interesting, but the shade range is awful. Shitty shade range. Um, yeah, like it's a shitty shade range. The fuck, dude? It's like, come on, man. Like there are companies with 40 shades of foundation. I'm not saying it needs to be 40 shades, but like, this is bad, which sucks. Cause like, I want to try it, but I'm not going to give them money because that's a shitty range. Like, I don't even think like they're all kind of orangey, like the 20 fair and the 10 light are the same fucking color. No, not okay. This is a collection reach with release with a terrible range. And it's probably a good thing that I got that one because I got the bingo. I got the bingo. We got drunk me would buy it. <laughs> I already bought it. Uh, of, course, of course I'm buying it. Of course I'm buying it. Complexion release with a terrible shade range and put it on my face. Let's see. 
Is there anything I want to talk about that I didn't call? Let's see. Oh, the Nomad Whistler palette is so pretty. I want that one. I love Nomad Cosmetics. Oh my God. That Oscar Mayo Bologna mask. I want to buy that for my husband so bad. Not because he likes face masks, because it's a fucking baloney mask. And I want to walk around pretending like we're um we're Dwight from the office. He does what I'm talking about. Um, let's see here. Oh, that color pop all amethyst. Um, other than that, yeah, that's it. So that is uh single, 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 single of new makeup months of bingo. I'm gonna try and find that commercial and put it in the link. If you, I can't find it, oh well, too bad, so sad. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me. This is fun as always. I love new makeup nonsense bingo. It is really the only time I drink alcohol anymore. <sighs> Bad. I've done better. Anyways, thank you so much. Like, subscribe, dislike, but tell me why. And um, thanks for hanging out. Bye.